What's up, Harris gang? What's up, Harris gang? It is Thursday, y'all. Good morning. Y'all already know what today is. Today is Talk to Us Thursday, period, y'all. But before we get into this video, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and make sure y'all hitting that bell and make sure y'all writing Daniel. Write Daniel at 1920 Pacific Avenue, PO Box 16173, Long Beach, California, 90863. Y'all already know. When I got this roll on, it's to make me feel like Danielle is hugging me, y'all. I got some really, 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 really bad news. I'll tell y'all that at the end. But we just gonna go ahead and get into this these, this video, y'all. So let me <clears throat> go to the post, y'all. I'm gonna post this a little later on Friday. I didn't post it on Thursday because I was just a little tired, y'all. So, like I said, I got some real bad news. I'm gonna tell y'all at the end. I'm kind of sad about it, but you know, everything happened for a reason. So now let's get into it. The first question is, let me start from the bottom, y'all. Cause I always start from the top, I'm gonna start from the bottom. So it says, besides Danielle and Fivey, who are you closest to? Besides Danielle and Five, I mean, I talked to my mom, I talked to my sister, but I'm just really just close to them. Like, you know, like I just seclude myself from everybody. I don't know, when me and Danielle met, we instantly clicked and we became like best friends. Like that's my everything, like my world, y'all. So I can't really say that I'm close to anybody like that. Besides Danielle, who do you confide in? I learned when I was like younger, like you don't confide in, into people. Like besides Danielle, I just confide, I just confide into Danielle. Other than that, like, I mean, I talk to God and shit. I talk to myself the time I think. I don't talk to myself, but like, I just think a lot. Like, you know, you gotta be careful on what you say to people or how you say it because sometimes people use what you say and your weaknesses and just what you're going through against you. So I just learned like to keep all my stuff to myself. <clears throat> it said, I love how you take care of five, keep up the good work. Y'all, I really be trying. I love that y'all pointed out though. I try so hard. If I if I'm giving off the impression that it's easy, it is not. It's very hard, but I'm figuring it out. Like shout out to all those single parents, cause I'm not single, but like having to like having to take over until day yo come home. Like I get it. It's hard. You still gotta maintain your self health and everything. And then on top of that, you have a little one that needs you. They can't eat. They can't use the bathroom or nothing without you. So like it's very different for me. Um, do you plan on getting five ears pierced? This is a great question. We do not plan on getting five ears pierced. And if y'all wonder where he at, he upstairs taking a nap. I just ate some crab. I wanted to eat my crab and talk to y'all, but I wasn't gonna be able to read the question. So, um, yeah. So no, you're not getting his ears pierced. Why? It was a decision that Yale made. I let her make all like the decisions. She's like the dominant one. Y'all, I need my hair done. That's why I keep touching it. But, um, yeah, I let her make, like, all the decisions. But we're not. She said she doesn't want to. It's, But it's nothing against kids, little boys who get their ears pierced. We're just not. It say if you can have three wishes, what would it be? And can we get more different cooking classes? Oh, that's so cool that y'all actually want more cooking videos. Yes, because I'm like, I got to stop. Like, you know, I got to switch it up for y'all. I don't want to bore y'all. And I know y'all tell me all the time that y'all y'all don't get bored. But I want to attract more people, so make sure y'all tell me y'all friends, y'all cousins, everybody, like, just to tune in and talk to Coco, y'all. But, um, and I know I haven't went live yet, but I will. Um, but three wishes. Three wishes would be definitely free nail fast. Um, and my second wish will be, hmm. My second wish was just like, you know, just make sure that me and Danielle and our family be financially stable for the rest of our life. And then our third wish will be just like, you know, like bust the world, the world that we live in, take this virus and stuff away because every day we wake up, it's a new variant. It's just, it's people passing away, it's baby passing away. Just take it away, y'all. But other than that, like, you know, um, yeah. Um, okay. It said, you should start a mommy club for all moms. We love talking to you and give you give great advice. I'm down with that. How exactly would I start the mommy class though, like group? Like, I would like to do videos, but, like, y'all got to really interact. If I could get at least, like, 50 or 60 people that, like, honestly come, like, for example, like, every Saturday, like, and just tune in and talk to me, like, when I do the premieres, I'd be in the chats. Like, it'd be cool, though. Like, we could get, like, some type of group chat working. And, like, yeah, I love to do that. I love to talk. I don't talk to nobody, so. Um, it say, hey, Coco, just want to say we love you. Never doubt yourself. You're an amazing mother from South Africa. Thank you so much. Shout out to y'all. I really appreciate that. Uh, let me go check on five, y'all. 
All right, y'all. He's still asleep. So it said, "Is Dayo going to write me back, Leia?" She just, 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 just got her letter. So yeah, I will definitely tell her to write you back, and she'll send it to you. It's not a secret where her location is, so she'll probably send it to you personally. It said, "Is the individual charm on your website just one charm?" Yes, the individual charm on my website is just one single charm, the charm that you pick, y'all. And if y'all placed the order, my website was down and I didn't even know, so I'm behind one order. But I'll put some extra charms in there because I feel bad. And don't forget to shop Daniel Edge Control, y'all. We love y'all. Continue to support him. Um, it said, are those sew-ins that you wear or closures? So, I'm glad you asked this. So, y'all remember when I told y'all I went through the postpartum hair loss? Um, I used to get sew-ins and then, and I used to get frontals, but my beautician told me that I need to stay away from the tension. So I just get quick weaves from now. Like it's like glue, but it's not on my hair or nothing like that. Like it's like on my stocking cap and when you take it off, the entire stocking cap come off. The reason why I do that is because it's lesser time. I can spend more time with my son and it's just healthier. You know, a lot of people don't like to glue their hair, but I do. It say, where did you get the custom wrapping paper from for Christmas? I went on Google and Google custom wrapping paper, but I believe it's called Zazzle.com, Z-A-Z-Z-L-E.com. It said, hey, hey, Coco, can we write you letters as well and you write us back? Um, if y'all want to write me letters, y'all definitely can write me letters. Like, um, I still have to go through the emails. I got so many from influencers and stuff like that. But yeah, y'all can write me letters or y'all can even write the letters on email. Y'all don't even have to send it because if y'all gonna send something, I prefer y'all send it to the email and just write me on email. It's so much faster. But yeah, I will write y'all back if y'all decide to write me a letter. And shout out to y'all for sending me the cards. I really appreciate it. If y'all don't know, Danielle's dad's birthday is Saturday, y'all. So we gonna spend time at the um, cemetery with him. Yeah, y'all. Um, can Danielle get bail? So seeing that they already sent it to her, she she can't get bailed out. But when she was out, she was out on bail, y'all. So yeah. Um, when y'all kids turn eighteen, would you let them meet their sperm donor if they wanted to? We wouldn't, and a lot of people might say that we're wrong for that, but we wouldn't because the contract that we did, the donor, he signed the paper that said he wants nothing. He doesn't even want to be known. So no, we will not. Um, if push come to shove, we explain that to them and hopefully they will understand that we had to take these measures so we can make sure you were safe and we wanted you. Like, you know, it's no reason for him to meet the sperm donor, really. Um, it say, do you believe in ghosts? My scary ass, I do. I be having on every light in the house. I be so scared. Oh my gosh. It says, check your email. Okay, I will check my email. It say, what book are you reading now? Y'all, I am reading... Kiss, kiss, bang, bang. That book is bomb, and I'm only, only in the beginning, y'all, but I like it. <sighs> advice for any new mom. Any new mom, the advice I give y'all is just take it easy. It's no right or wrong way to do it, and, like, yeah, like, it's no right or wrong way. This is what I could tell you, though. So, listen to taking advice from my mom, my own mom, just everybody, friends and stuff like that. Don't let nobody tell you how to raise your own kid. Like, you know, like my mom was telling me one time, she's so crazy, like, oh, you should check to see if five have allergies because he be sneezing and stuff, and rubbing his eyes, itching his nose. But I noticed he do that a lot when he's sleepy. So long story short, we went to the doctor and I, I brought it to my doctor's attention and she, she was like, well, it's pretty, it's a little too soon for them to check to see if he have allergies because it's so, like, you, it's just so rare because he's so little. She was like, but let me tell you this. Um, she was all like, it's your kid. You have to decide what you want to ask and everything on your own. You learn your own kid just like you learn your body. So just learn your kid and, you know, just take it a day at a time. It's not a walk in the park, but eventually you would. You, it's not a walk in the park, and it's not like you're riding a bicycle for the first time. Once you get a hang up, get the hang of it, you will get it, y'all. And I'm, I'm a new mom, y'all, so I'm just giving y'all my honest opinion. Uh, so you're an amazing mom and wife. Stay that way. Five and Danielle got your back huh? thank you girl i got a bump on my chin y'all it say do you want your next pregnancy to be twins i do want twins and i talked about it with danielle so i don't know if y'all remember me telling y'all but the next time we have our baby when she come home i'm going to use her egg but she said she don't want twins y'all so no but i would love to have twin girls that's like her eggs though because danielle 
she got dimples and stuff like that and it's nothing wrong but like she, i just really find Danielle hell very beautiful like you know so the fact that five looks like me i can't wait to have kids that actually like resemble her as well and y'all so crazy y'all be saying five look like her i don't think he look like me or her but it's cool it say do you know any any different baby boy names that start with the a well five middle name is adriel so yeah y'all i already don't um aaron andre i don't know i'll be on google y'all just get on google it say are you getting enough sleep at night or do you drink coffee for energy i sleep at night like i go to sleep at like 9 10 and then i wake up at 6 30 my baby sleep through the night so like, you know, I sleep. He don't really wake me up unless it's rare that he wake up. But even if he wake up, he'll just lay there and watch TV until I wake up. So I don't really like Starbucks, y'all. It say, what Starbucks is your fave? I don't really mess with Starbucks, but yeah. Hold on, y'all. I be moving. All right, y'all. I'm back. Okay, I'm going to do a couple of more, y'all. It say, do y'all play role play in the bedroom with when your wife is home? We didn't really do role play, but I would like to. Like that's very interesting, y'all. It says, is it expensive living in California? It is very expensive, y'all. But they got a lot of programs that help people out here, and I don't discriminate. Like I said, I'm cheap, y'all. So, yeah. It say, it's not a question. I just miss you and Danielle YouTube TikTok together, free Danielle. I'm trying to get better on TikTok, y'all. Start sending me TikToks in my DMs that I can do that y'all would like to see. Or, like, start sending them to our Instagram. If y'all start doing that, I'll start doing them. I don't have time to just sit on TikTok because five be, like, moving so much. So, when I do get... Dang, where my hookah? When I do get some spare time, I just like to chill and read. Um, do you feel like you have to work before Danielle comes home? Wait a minute. You have to work. No, I don't feel like I would have to work before Danielle comes home. I feel like we're financially stable. I just pray, you know every day and just hope that God continues to like to just keep us blessed so I can sit here and raise five and not have to go to work so yeah um how tall are y'all Danielle like five two I think I'm like five five it says do you believe in soul ties and soulmates I definitely believe in soul ties and soulmates I feel like Danielle is my soulmate because I found her on Instagram y'all and when I found her I'm like oh my gosh I have to have her and like I don't know, we've been through like a lot of ups and downs and like, you know, we really just stuck it out. Like, you know, I don't know. I just really love her, but I really believe in that. I believe in that love. I believe in love at first sight and everything. Comment down below if y'all believe in love at first sight. I love all those little fairy tale books and stuff like that. That's why I'm so interested in like all Ashley and Swinette books because it's like a perfect hood love story, y'all. Y'all don't understand. Um... It says, this is a good question. It said, do you ever get nervous that Danielle might love the baby that is biologically hers more? I don't get worried because I love Danielle. But when I first met Danielle, like I, when I was growing up, I never wanted kids. I wanted kids because Danielle made me want kids. Like, you know, I loved her so much and she just wanted a baby so bad. And I was just so like, you know, like I want a family with you. Like I can see me spending the rest of my life with you. So she loved Danielle like he honestly her biological child she tell people like he came out of my y'all know like that so like no i'm not worried about stuff like that like you know um it's just like i think we think of it like this it's just like how a fire waking up y'all it's just like how we was like trying to adopt the kid or something like that it would be the same like you don't mistreat them because they're not yours biologically like you know they're not asking to be adopted but you're going out your way to adopt them y'all hold on all right, y'all, so five is up. He looking like a little sleepy, so I'm not going to put him in the camera this time, but I'm going to turn on his little show in the back, and I'm going to finish these last little questions, y'all. But, no, it's just like, you know, when people adopt kids, you know, they try, like, you know, I don't know if I'm making sense, but no, I, I don't think that she'll love her kids that's biologically more hers. Um... It says no hate, just an honest question. No, I, I'm happy that you said that too. Like certain questions, I know that they not shade or nothing, and that's just an honest question, and I understand. But no, I don't. I don't think that it'll be a problem. It say I love y'all here it's gang. Y'all so strong. Thank y'all. And these are the last couple ones, y'all. It says haven't been in love since my baby daddy 
disrespecting me and my family. He wants to fix his family and work it out, but I don't know. I've been working on my, myself since then. And now he says he wants to get married. I haven't been around him in almost two months. He says he wants to do right and stuff, but I told him that he will have to prove it. I told him he has to apologize to my family or is he willing to talk to my dad, advice. He always wants his way. If not, he gets disrespectful. Honestly, I feel like he should apologize to your dad or just anything. Because if he want to marry you, marrying you, yes, you're not. he's not marrying your family. But y'all are going to be a family, which means there's going to be, if I want to be on the camera so bad, which means there's going to be family um, functions and everything. So if he wants to get right back with you and he loves you and he want to change, he will be willing to suck up his pride and do what he got to do to get you back. You said you haven't been around him in two months. Yeah, he got some proving to do. And... Yeah, so maybe that, like he needs to talk. You know, man, be feeling like they can't apologize to other man, but he needs to talk to your dad. I love the hell out, hell out of my dad. So if somebody was to disrespect my dad that I was with, I wouldn't go for that. And I want to say you gotta get down on your knees and apologize, but you need to go talk to my father and make sure y'all on good terms because if you can't accept my father, then I don't know. But yeah, here thing, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. I love y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed this. Talk to us Thursday. The question is very dope, y'all. Comment down below some things y'all want me to do and all that. A cooking video will be dropping soon, y'all, so stay tuned. I love y'all, Harry's Gang. They ill love y'all. And most of all, baby, five love y'all. Peace. All right, here's gang, and I totally forgot, but I came back on here because I y'all my family, and I don't want y'all to be like she just be talking and don't ever finish it, y'all. So the reason why I got some bad news today is because, like I told y'all before, you know, COVID and stuff is on the rise. So me and Danielle have video vids. First of all, um, they went back on phase one. Phase one is where you can't have in person visits. So. I wasn't allowed to go see her today. Usually I go Friday and Sunday and then on Saturdays video visits for baby five. So since they went back on phase one, it was just video visits. So I have video visits from today. I mean, from Friday into Sunday or whatever, y'all. And they called me and told me that her unit that she's in had an outbreak and they're quarantined for 14 days. So that means I can't see her this weekend. I won't be able to see her the next weekend or that weekend after that. So I'm just very sad, y'all. I'm a little heartbroken. So I need y'all. I'm trying to come harder. Look at five, y'all. Sleepy. I'm trying to call, come harder on YouTube than I did ever because I need y'all more than ever right now. Like, I don't know. Like, I'm just so sad. Like, them two-hour visits, they do something to me. Like, she honestly keeps me going. So with that being said, I don't even know if she's going to be able to be out to get on the phone. I don't know if she's going to be out, baby, be able to email me sometimes because she's going to kiosk. Like, I just don't know, y'all. So I'm a little sad about that because they can't get out if they're quarantining because that means germs. It's pretty hard to sanitize every phone that's used after um, someone comes and uses it. Like, you know what I mean? So I'm guessing they're just going to keep her in her room for 14 days. I haven't got all the full details. Just when they, the prison called me today, they called me and let me know. And it's so crazy, y'all. They called 30 minutes before our visit to let me know that our visit is canceled. So I didn't even get to talk to her or nothing. But we talked so much in the morning. But yeah, y'all. So I don't know, Harris Gang. I was just a little sad that I had to come on here. But yeah, Harris Gang. We love y'all. I'm so sad, y'all. Keep Danielle in y'all prayers. Her whole prison is like contaminated it's isolated every unit there is on quarantine it's like wow they can't go anywhere so that must means that the guards and everything is bringing it in right i don't know y'all don't get me started but yeah here's gang that's it